Hey, this is Brian Reed, lead designer for Ultimate Spider-Man at Treyarch. I'll be giving you the inside track on some exclusive tips and tricks, making you an expert in everything from combat strategies to crushing your toughest adversaries. Even though Spider-Man is a pretty able fighter, it's good to remember he has a few tricks up his sleeves that will help you take your fighting skills from merely amazing to ultimate. When facing an enemy, you can use your web shooter in combination with different attack buttons to perform some pretty fancy moves. Keep in mind that holding your web attack button will wrap an enemy in webbing. If you continue to hold the web attack button, you can tap, punch, kick, or grab to perform different special attacks. For example, hold down the web attack button, then press punch to reel in the bad guy and perform a two-fisted slam on his head. When you hold down the web attack button and press kick, you'll reel him in and then perform a jumping backflip kick, which kicks him way out in front of you. When holding down the web attack button, press grab. Spidey will zip towards the enemy and perform a forward flipping two-footed stomp. If there's a lamppost nearby, press the web attack button and then jump and you'll leave the enemy hanging from the lamppost. This will take them out of the fight for a little while and let you concentrate on his friends. Finally, when you're holding down the web attack button, you can push the left analog stick the opposite direction of the bad guy to send them flying on a web line. Spider-Man will do a lot more damage if you switch between punches and kicks. If you just punch on a guy for a while, you're going to hurt him, but not as bad as you will if you go back and forth between the punches and kicks. Also, be sure to do what Spider-Man does. Bounce off walls. Push the left analog stick towards a wall, press punch or kick, and watch Spidey bounce around and do even more damage to bad guys than usual. Spider-Man also has different punches, kicks, and combos available to him while fighting. During combat, use nearby walls for some creative attacks. Pushing the left analog stick towards the wall, then pressing punch or kick buttons will activate those special moves. Spider-Man will jump and propel himself off the wall into nearby enemies. This is a great move, especially if you find yourself cornered. Venom can grab enemies by pressing, conveniently enough, the grab button. What he does next is entirely up to you. Press and hold the grab button to grab an enemy and follow it up by pressing the punch button. Venom will slam the enemy face down on the pavement as hard as he can. Press the punch button, followed by the grab button. Venom will grab an enemy and try to snap them like a twig. When a claw or tentacle attack just isn't enough to put your enemy down, well, Venom can throw cars. To use a car as a weapon, all you have to do is pick it up with the grab button. Venom will then toss the car with all of his strength. Pressing the grab button twice rapidly will make Venom perform a quick throw. Using the right analog stick, you can aim the direction you want Venom's car toss to go. This allows you to put the damage exactly where you want it. Once you master these moves, your enemies will truly fear you. When the battle begins, Rhino has made his way to a construction yard and is attempting to rip out a massive gas storage tank. Now this is bad news for all involved, so here's some tips to help Spider-Man save the day. Attack Rhino by jumping up and grabbing onto his back. Pounding on Rhino's armor will get the big guy's attention. Once Rhino is focused on Spidey, you can lead him over to the big patch of wet cement. When Rhino does his power punch and gets his hand stuck in the wet cement, it's time to activate the wrecking ball and send him flying. In the second half of this battle, Rhino will lead Spider-Man into a used car lock. The trick here is to focus your attacks on the broken panel in Rhino's back. Dodge Rhino's attacks until the electricity on his back has gone away, and then Spidey can grab on and pound away. Repeat this a few times and you'll win the battle with ease. Venom and Wolverine have a chance meeting when Venom unknowingly smashes up Wolverine's motorcycle. Wolverine's ready for revenge, but armed with the following tips, you can even the playing field. Wolverine is a devastating fighter at close range, so whenever possible, try to keep him at a distance by using Venom's tentacle attacks. There are a few gang members that Venom can feed on for energy, so be sure to fill up before the fight spills over into the dojo. Wolverine will attempt to jump over Venom and attack from behind, but a good tentacle swipe will stop him in his tracks and put you in a position to finish him off. Green Goblin is loose on the streets of Manhattan, and it's up to Spidey to save the day. Keep up with Goblin as he leads you through the streets, and be sure to use web zip in the areas where there are no buildings to swing from, or you'll definitely fall behind. During the chase, Goblin will attack a large billboard and bring it crashing down on some civilians. Be sure to avoid Goblin's fireballs before attempting to lift the rubble. 
Eventually, Goblin will turn on Spider-Man and the fight is on. Goblin is invincible when he's covered in flames, so dodge his fireball attacks and wait for him to tire out. When his flames turn off, that's your chance to land a few good hits. The fight will eventually lead indoors. At this point, Goblin will begin to use Pyroblast to beat Spider-Man. Be sure to use your web and swing out of the way to avoid the fire. Electro is helping Trask Industries test the Venom Suit. As the battle leads into Times Square, Spider-Man enters the mix, but a lucky blow by Electro knocks him out. Both villains want a piece of your friendly neighborhood superhero, but who will win? At the beginning of the battle, Electro is vulnerable to Venom's melee attack. But you need to get away before he charges up, or you'll suffer the consequences. Once Electro is low on health, he'll power himself up on one of the jumbo signs in Times Square. Electro is now pure energy, so going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him is no longer an option. Venom can smash the fire hydrants around Times Square and release a torrent of water to knock Electro out of the air. Once Electro is on the ground and back in human form, get in there and do some damage. Another great way to get Electro is to quickly throw cars at him and knock him out of the air. The most reliable way to do this is to grab a car and then rapidly press the grab button again to make Venom throw it as fast as possible. Remember to keep the Venom suit fed, but whatever you do, don't feed on Electro. That will result in nothing but pain. Instead, chase down one of the tasty morsels, um, civilians running around Times Square. Electro will use the signs around Times Square for extra energy if he runs low. You can pull the plug on this by attacking the signs before Electro uses them to power up. So there you have it. I've given you everything you need to know to master the game. So now get out there and have fun.